we are going to try and create uh, at least what I would call uh, kind of a simple just dome hanger. Dome hanger, uh, what I mean by that is just a, a hanger with a curved roof, kind of a dome shaped roof. So, and it's not gonna be it's not gonna be too complex. Um, maybe just kind of. I had I had somebody uh, that needed a little help, and so I was gonna see if I could make a quick little tutorial here. So, I'm starting out with. In fact, I don't want to start out with a plan. I want to start with a box, of course. Most buildings start out with just a box, and I'll just put some entries in here. I'm kind of just doing this by eye. So I'm going to make the length 70, uh, make the width. In fact, uh, let me um, close Norton here real quick. There we go. That's always annoying. Um, actually, I'll put the width to 70, the length to 60, and the height. Oh, we'll try a random number here. And that actually doesn't look too bad for what we're going to do. And I'm going to go ahead and take note of these dimensions, at least the length and the width. Uh, the height is probably not as important, but I'll write it down anyways. Real quick here. And the height is 17. Okay. So, well, that's half of our, half of our building right there. So let's see. So the complicated part, if there is anything in this building, it's going to be uh, creating the dome part of the hangar. So, what we're, I think, what I'll try and do is just get the uh, basic shape here. I'm going to go to my front view. You press W, you can uh, enlarge your view. I'm going to press G to turn off the grid because I don't really need it, and it's sometimes it can be kind of hard on your eyes to have it on all the time. I'm going to create a circle. I could create an arc. Um, in fact, let's do that. Let's create an arc. And uh, I'm going to try and line up close to the corners here. Whoops. I better do that. Okay. Click, drag right here, and then move mouse up and down to kind of get your basic angle here. We'll just, I'm just going to kind of pick a, you know, spot, maybe right about there. And what I'm going to do now is convert this to a double spline. Select by vertex. I'm just going to move this vertex over. Uh, try and line up as closely, as close as I can, to this corner. Um, I wouldn't say it has to be exactly, but I'd you know prefer it to be fairly close. Select this vertex and do the same with it. I'm going to zoom in pretty much as you know as far as I can to be as accurate as I can with the placement. But do realize it doesn't have to be you know perfect unless it just bothers you. <laughs> okay, so have the basic dome shape, but now we need to kind of close this shape because um, at the moment it's just a spline, just a line basically. We need to actually make it a closed kind of polygon. So I'm going to say create line. I'm going to click on this vertex. And I'm going to click here. I'm going to say close spine. I'm going to say yes. Okay. Now this should be all one spline now. I'm hoping. So if I say select by spline. Alright, good. So you can see how all of it is highlighted in red now. So you know it's all one piece. So I'm going to go back to my quad views here. I'm going to convert this to an edible poly now. And it should fill in with color. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead. I think I'll go to my top view here and position this. I'm going to lock it to the Y 
axis, or lock the movement to the Y axis here. And I'm just going to move this to the front. Um, I'm going to zoom. I'm going to enlarge the view. I'm going to turn off the grid, of course. And I'm just going to move this, you know, as precisely as I can to the front, to the hanger. And then I'm going to select by polygon. It's just one polygon, so I should be able to just select it with one click here. Okay. And I'll say extrude. I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to extrude it. Um, of course, the uh, the length of our building is 60 meters, so I believe it's going to be negative in the direction I'm extruding it. I'm going to type in 60 and say extrude. And that should extrude it. Um, in fact, I've already got to use my perspective view. I'm going to set this back to top and then press W on the perspective. Okay, so that looks good. But you'll notice that uh, the faces, I mean, they kind of like disappear. It looks kind of weird. So we need to apply a modifier to this. Uh, it's called normal. And we're going to say check flip normals. And then we can just say collapse, cl right click on the normal thing here and say collapse to. And that fixes our faces except for this face in which we'll just have to say border select uh, select this border, hopefully it's the right one and then say cap okay and that looks pretty good and uh... now Look, I mean, this looks uh, kind of you know a pretty good approximation to the shape that we're looking for. Um, but I want to add kind of a lip to this uh, to this roof line here. So what I'm going to do, um, let's see, I'll go to my top view, and I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I, I centered my uh, object right at the origin, so I made sure everything it was right at zero zero zero. Um, this just makes it easy so when I create my next shape here I'm gonna take the plane I'm just gonna draw it in and I'm gonna set width segments to oh I don't know you know 15 you can just try something I might even try 16 and you know or and, and what the heck maybe 18 just because it'll just look nice um, but you know of course when you're making your model so you want to be kind of consider your how many polys you use um, and here's why I took a uh, note of my dimensions is dimensions is so I could type them in real easily and scale this plane so 70 on the width 60 on the length and I'll just while it's selected I'll take have the move tool activated and set the coordinates to zero zero and zero. All right. Let's get that reselected here. All right. And uh, I want to add a little bit of height to this, of course. So I'm going to convert this to an edible poly. Okay. And I'm going to select by polygon. In fact, element is probably what I want to do. Alright, so we have everything selected. And I'm just going to say extrude. I'm just going to eyeball this, so I'm not going to type any specific number in. I'm just going to kind of look at it. How about something about like... Uh, sometimes I make these a little bit larger than they probably would be, but that's just because, you know, if you make them too small, they're not really visible in Flight Simulator, and it's kind of pointless. Um, of course, if they're too large, they don't just look stupid, but... <laughs> Alright. I'll just go with that right there. And I want to check something. If I go into my perspective view here, I want to check... To, uh, in fact, I better hide this one object so I can check what I'm going to check here. So if I go into my display here, I can hide any selected object. 
I, I want to check because uh, it isn't right now, but you see that the normal on this bottom face is flipped, and so what I can do, I can just it's either flipped or it's not there. All right, what I can do is go into my edible poly here, select by border, select this bottom border, and again say cap, and that should take care of it. Wonderful. Okay, um, now we're ready to apply a modifier to this. Um, this modifier, uh, you might guess this, this it's called bend. And we're going to bend this, I believe it's on the x-axis, but we'll find out here. Okay, good. And we're just going to bend this shape to approximately uh, how it's kind of try and follow the roof line here. I'm going to move this up. Okay. And I want to bend it a little more, obviously. And it looks like, now of course you'll notice that it's not quite large enough. So I'm going to take the scale here, and I want to scale it non-uniformly. So I can just scale it on the x-axis. Uh, the way to do that, uh, make sure, because there's a few options on the scaling here, if you click and hold, you have a drop-down menu here. Uh, there's a couple different uh, ways to scale, and you just uh, pick this one right here in the middle say yes to that. I'm just going to scale this on the x-axis a little bit. In fact, I didn't activate the x-axis. I had both the x and y. I want to just say restrict to x and do that again. Okay. I'm just going to check that that worked and that it scaled only on the x-axis, which it did. Okay. That's what we wanted. And I'm just going to increase the angle now just bring this bend this over and you can see that creates a fairly nice little uh, lip to the roof there and so long as you uh, cover you know it covers this line right here you should be good and it'll look fine um, of course you know you might if you want to be a little more precise you might just try and line this up so that you know this part of it follows pretty close to this purple line here but in this case this will work fine and uh, let's see here I'm gonna go and hide all now unhide by name maybe will help nope let's see here unhide all there we go that works alright so I think actually now I'd like to have a little bit of a lip uh, in these directions so I'm going to use the scale tool again uh, say yes to that uh, restrict this to the Y axis and just scale it on the Y a little bit alright that kind of just makes a nice little overhang okay so uh, now I'm going to just uh, cut this hang hanger open here um, so, the best way to do that is to use a boolean. So, what I'll do, I'll select this box, and I'll just say yes to that again. Um, I'm going to scale this box a little bit, so I'm going to just do it on the Y axis first, and then I'm going to do it on the Z, uh, X. Okay, we're just trying to make it a little bit smaller then the original box. I'll enlarge this so you can see a little better. Uh, restrict to y-axis again. I want to scale it up on the y-axis. I'm just going to say don't show me this again. <laughs> Alright. And uh, undo that. Restrict to the y and scale it. Okay. We don't care how much it sticks out on the side that there's going to be a door. It just has to be, you know, kind of the width of your walls here. So we'll go back to the front here. And let's see what side do we want to... You know what? I think I made a mistake. 
that I didn't <laughs> I, I, I didn't uh, clone my box. So I'll um let's see here. You want well, you, actually what you want to do first is clone the box before you s scale it. All right, that was my bad there. All right, so now we have a clone box two. Okay, now let me just do that over real quick. Okay, W and okay. Not a big deal. It doesn't take long to redo this, but I should have <laughs> should have real realized that earlier that I had to clone it first. Okay. So now we should have. There it is on this side. Uh, you can see how the box actually sticks out a little bit. This is gonna be the side where the door is. All right. So basically. Um, we'll take um, we'll select the larger box we'll go to create um, under geometry we'll set this drop down menu to compound objects then activate boolean uh, say subtraction a minus b down here and then say pick operand b and you can see that we have a nice cutout now inside here. Looks quite nice. And then there's one other thing before I finish this off. I want to hide the rough line here real quick. And clean a couple polys up here. Actually a lot of polys. Um, I want to delete all these polygons right here because they're not you're not going to see them and so why have them there <laughs> so basically we'll go into your edible poly mode here um, select it by polygon and I'll do it from the perspective view I guess and I'm just going to hold down control and select all of these and then we'll delete them. Okay, and hopefully that didn't affect anything else on the geometry. Okay, good. And then just say unhide all. And there you have basically the, the basics of a hanger. <laughs> a little dome hanger, that's what I call it. You could uh, cut out the bottom here and that would be uh, a neat way to make it a little more uh, realistic and actually put like I guess suppose you could put kind of beams here you could just texture it and make it look like there's rafters or something up here but anyhow hopefully this is helpful to someone <laughs> and yeah alright